and this is really awesome guys they have a doggy park you can take your dog and the dogs can play here you know I know how we love our puppies we treat them like they're our babies I have a little chihuahua and I really loved her so you could take a dog here look at that it's exclusively for residents dog bathing and grooming door-to-door -door pickup and drop-off service you can call make an appointment they get something like that over here so look at that place even dog got yeah, fancy place to run they even have a painting on the walls of the dogs. Look at that. That is really neat. Wow. I just noticed that now. This is awesome. A dog can go there, run. <laughs> and you have your own waiting shed so you don't get hot and they have this bags for the poop at waste station they even have a little corral so i'm definitely coming back here they have a different painting right here wow that's nice It's like close to the new RV spaces. They have this fake bison. They look real. <laughs> cool. That is really neat. Wow. It's made of metal. They're sharp and heavy. So. This is the new space here. The reason I'm doing this is because like when we were looking for a place to stay, you know, it's hard to find one that caters what you really need. And I feel like this place that we just found suits for us. So maybe it would help people. If you like this video, please like share comment down below kind of like tap on my back for doing this i would be so grateful and please no basher you could make suggestions you know but in a nice manner please because i wasn't paid to do this by the way but i'm using this for my blog you know Because I know people travel a lot, you know, the snowbirds especially, the retirees. This would be a perfect place. <clears throat> and looking that way, you would see the mountain. Nice view. So probably when we get back, this is where I would be. Sometime. Next year, hopefully. I feel like I'm into the mood of maybe moving in in a full time in the fifth wheel and just travel around look at the mountain uh. and if you have stayed here before you could leave your comment and your experience being here it would help people that are traveling you know don't be shy let's help each other give people information
Sorry guys, sometimes my English is kind of, you know, um, like, like my tongue is folding. It's not easy for me. English is not my natural dialect. I learned it. So bear with me. That's on the other side. Hello. Hello, who are you with? My husband. <laughs> We're just, I'm just videoing the place. You're visiting? Yeah. Oh. Promoting the place. Here is another. Horsey, horsey. Those people are cleaning the place, getting it ready. I think they're close to opening it. Look at that elk. It's really neat. Huh. I like that in my backyard. Someday. Look at that, the flowers are starting, starting to bloom for the spring. The desert flowers. Uh, let's go here. And this is close to the office. Look at that. They have this thing that you could, the old rag. Uh, like a stagecoach. Isn't that awesome, huh? Cool. Here's a big tortoise. Uh, tortoise. Right here. Tortoise. Hello, hello, that's huge. <laughs> Big turtle, we call it in my language. And here's a really nice view. If you can get this spot, you are lucky. My goodness, this is so nice here. So somebody just left. So that's the view from this spot right here. How could you not like this, huh? The summer here is really harsh. It's really, really hot. I've been here when it's really like 115, 120. So, but I like the fall, the spring, and the winter here. If you like to gamble and you don't like the crowd like the Las Vegas crowd, this is the place. It's fun. I'd like to say a mega shout out to those people that we go UTV riding yesterday. Our leader Rick from Havazu. And I don't know the rest of the guys. I mean, I just know their names, but they're really nice people. Um, they're a nice company. And I'm hoping that I will see them next year. And our neighbor, Greg from Minnesota, who was kind enough to let us know and tag us along. Oops. Gee, that's the place where everything is. And they also have a mailbox right there if you want a post office box right there like you don't have to go to the post office so that's the whole building where a restroom the laundry mat the gym the clubhouse is there
So this is really the first entrance coming here in this RV park here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the big saguaro cactus. So you can come in here or you can come in from the top. If you don't mind the heat in the summer, this is a good place to live. Arizona, Bullhead, Arizona. And the other side is the Laughlin, Nevada. So you have the two states meeting together. And then Needles, California is not very far from here. So. So guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. A nice one, please. Help me out with my small YouTube channel. I'm planning to keep doing this for as long as I could. And help me out. I'm a beginner. I'm not a pro. I don't have those professional uh, crew or editing that people do. So bear with me. I'm going to walk back up. You know, people actually live here full time. They have little houses like just like that. I like that. Lots of little houses here. If you don't like the fifth wheel or trailer or motorhome, I guess you can put a little house here. Kind of like the little house in the desert. <laughs> The opposite of the little house and the prairie. <laughs> you see that one? That's another little house. Somebody lived there here permanently. It's beautiful. <laughs> I met a lot of different people here good people and we hang out with them and we had fun we get to know what it's like from their states from our state so. we enjoyed our trip beautiful day to walk in this neighborhood I don't have to go to the desert this is perfect here so that's it guy for the vlog of this place uh, check out the rest of my vlogs especially the UTV rides if you guys like riding check it out and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very, very much.